You wanna be my main squeeze, baby, don't you? You wanna give me what I need, baby, don't you? Picture white as my life just think. Full length mink, fat X and no links. Bracelets to match conversations and all that. Showed you safe combinations and all that. Guess you can say you's the one I trusted. Who would ever think that you could spread like mustard? Hey Gems, it's Cindy Rilla OG and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be uh, doing the Snapchat Q&A. As most of y'all have seen on my Instagram or my Snapchat, um, I went ahead and told y'all to go ahead and send me some questions via Snapchat. Um, but before we get into this video, let me clarify. I don't have any boys' names on my necklaces right now. It says bad and bougie. Why? Because that is my mood for today. So I had y'all go ahead and send me some questions via Snapchat. And I was looking at some of them. Some of them are kind of juicy. Some of them are kind of, you know, you know, kind of cool. I just want to know about me. That's cool. That's cool. I thought I would go ahead and do the Snapchat Q&A because every time I get on Instagram Live or um, if I log into my Twitter or anything like that, people are asking me, like, questions that I have and I feel like I've answered in videos before but I want to give like the official oh this is about Cindy you know kind of snapchat so if y'all want to get to know me this is the time to do it so yeah time to get into these uh this wow English time to get into this snapchat Q&A all right so I'm not sure if you guys want me to say your snapchat names or not so I'm just gonna go ahead and not do that today because I don't want to like expose anyone that doesn't want to be exposed so uh let's go ahead and get into these questions where do you get your wigs um i get my wigs from various places but um sometimes i get like wigs made so if like hair gets sent to me from a company i'll go ahead and have my friend laurel make him for me and um if y'all want to know you know her contact info if you're in the dallas area she makes bomb wigs i'll leave her um info in the description box down below i'll leave some examples of some wigs that she's done for me um you know i'll put like a couple pictures here bam and here bam so yeah she's done some good work for me and um other wigs that are like actually actually pre-made are from other companies like this wig is from hair vivi um i just did a video on them today so hopefully by the time that this comes out this that video will already be out so yeah but um it depends on where like the hair is from that i get the or do the videos from or get the wigs from wow wow i can't talk today this is horrible but anyway so yeah um it kind of varies have you ever been in a relationship if so what was the longest time period that you were in one um yes i have been in a relationship before um not just one in my past but you know uh i don't like to speak on my relationships i don't I don't know. I, I really don't like speaking on my relationships. But if you watched one of my Asking for Friends before, the one with Nigel Fam, I believe, I did reveal what my longest relationship was. I um, was with someone all throughout high school. Um, that relationship is over, like done, finito, finished. We were together like all through high school. Y'all do the math of how long that was. I don't really like saying it because that makes it real, but. Yeah, so I was with someone for a long time before. I had a long term relationship before and um I think that was my that obviously that was my longest relationship. Um but yeah, I feel like my next relationship should be my last. Um but you know, life comes at you and you never know what's happening. So we'll just see what happens in the future. <laughs> Where are you from? Well, if I haven't said it enough, I'm from the triple D. Yeah, gang 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 triple d flexes you already know the dirty dirty dallas yes i'm from dallas texas um but if y'all if you're talking about like where like like what country i'm from or um where's my last name from my family where's my family from what is my cultural background my ethnicity i'm a nigerian american i'm a proud Igbo woman so yes indibo I see you people out there. Uh -huh. How did you and all your Nigerian friends meet? Okay, if I could go on with the whole list of all my Nigerian friends, this video will be like three days long. But um, some people I grew up with, some people I met through college, some people I met, funny enough, through social media. I mean, you can make friends through social media. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't. But some friends I did meet through social media. Um, uh yeah i met I, i've met my friends in various places some through parties so um yeah 
I know all my friends through different kinds of places. It just so happens that we have that same kind of energy and we kind of click, so it works out. What is one thing that college has taught you and your favorite, and what is your favorite memory from high school? Um, what is one thing that college has taught me? Don't procrastinate. <laughs> one thing that college has taught me do not procrastinate if there's something that you can get done today do it why put off something that you can get done today for tomorrow you know so yeah don't do it just don't procrastinate that's one thing i've learned from college and my favorite memory from high school um i don't know i have a lot of memories i used to dance i was in the drill team uh, i actually have one of my posters right here so I'll probably insert some pictures, but yes, I was in drill team. Yeah, this is from my junior year, and this is from my senior year. Because I was the first junior to win Golden Girl of the Week that year, or that, that year, yeah. So it was really cool for me, and yeah. So I have a lot of memories from high school. Um, I didn't really like high school, but I had a lot of good memories, and I still, like, keep in touch with my high school best friends so um i think we're still pretty tight so yeah <sighs> favorite memories from high school high school oh my god that was such a long time ago what inspired you to become a youtuber i also love the content that you put out as well can't wait for the upcoming content so love you i love you too but um what inspired me to be a youtuber i wanted to be a youtuber for a very 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 long time like since I was like really really young so um I would watch people like it's very funny I used to watch Jenna Marbles like I used to be obsessed with her I used to love the fact that like she just embraced her personality and just like you know put it out there and people love that I love how real she was another person I used to love watching I mean this is a more re recent kind of youtuber but Amber Martin I love her video she's by far my favorite youtuber amber martin is my favorite youtuber because she just keeps it real all she i mean not all she does is vlogs but she does vlogs mostly um and she like did college vlogs for the most part but i think what i what like had me so drawn to her was the fact that like she just kept it real she like didn't care what anyone said about her she kept it real 100 and whoever was gonna fuck with what she had out like they messed with it if they didn't she didn't care you know she just put it out not for everyone else but like you know she wanted to do it so she did it and people ended up loving it and that's what I love about Amber Martin so um what inspired me to be a youtuber I just wanted to spread positivity I wanted to um just go ahead and share um certain parts of my life that I think would help other people out especially with my like um interviews with black professionals I did that mostly because there are I like there's so many people that were like one of me to connect them with my cousins that were in medical school or law school or pharmacy school or my um, mom that's an optometrist and I was like okay why don't I just create a platform that they can get the word that they need but you know like still make it available to everybody and share that positivity in my life that I wanted to do so that's initially why I wanted to start I started doing other things that I liked doing on YouTube so um it all kind of worked out so that's what inspired me to get into YouTube. I just wanted to help other people. Where do you see yourself by the end of this year, YouTube-wise? Um, ooh. I just hope that I keep touching more people. Uh, I hope that um, my brand keeps ex expanding, you know? Uh, more content. <laughs> I don't know, it's a hard question. Where do I see myself by the end of the year, YouTube-wise? Uh, I just want this family to grow. I want more people to like, you know, be inspired. So, yeah, I guess that's where I see myself uh, by the end of the year. What is the most important lesson that you've learned so far in your life? To know your worth and add tax. I believe that like that holds so much value in so many different aspects of life. Um, for example, if you need a little ambition, know that you are worth something, that you are going to go far in life. So why are you, like, you know, comparing yourself to the bottom of the barrel? And engaging with different companies and stuff, knowing my worth and adding tax. So knowing that, like, they can't bring me down to something that I know I'm not worth. Um, it, with boys, with relationships, with friendships, anything that 
that can apply to it does knowing my worth has just allowed me uh, allowed for many doors to be open in different aspects of life for me so um just knowing my worth is just you know the most important part of life that i've learned for me so it's, it's definitely an important lesson that i've learned what state or country do you want to travel to in the near future I'm going to LA soon, so hmm, as a state, well, California's a state, so I'm going there in August. Um, other countries that I want to visit, um, I do want to visit um, New York. That's another state I want to visit, uh, and Florida. I do want to visit Florida. I will be going to both of those places very, very soon. Don't worry. And I want to go to London so bad. I want to go to the UK, y'all. I want to go to England so bad. So, um, that's somewhere I want to visit recent, like in the near future. I also want to go to Paris in France. So, yes, um, those are a couple, um, countries that I do want to visit in the near future. So y'all might be seeing me go there in the next one or two years. Um, how do you deal with racism? I am from Haiti and I've been living in Florida for over 10 years and still have a little accent. Some people do look at me in a certain way. Um, I've told people that I'm, I've been told by people that um, I should go back where I came from. Yikes! Um, how do I deal with racism? I don't tolerate it. I'm one of those people, I'm a no nonsense kind of person. If anyone knows me, I don't have a very, um, I have a very short temper. So I can get set off really, really quick. Like I get very irritated as easily and I don't have a problem speaking up my mind whenever like it's something that I speak, feel really um, strong about. So um, how do I deal with it? I speak up on it. If, I, if it's something I feel very strongly about, I will speak up on it. Um, so yeah, racism is something that I do not tolerate. Um, I, I don't I don't tolerate nonsense. Uh uh. So I do speak up on it whenever it's presented to me, which it shouldn't be, and it's not often because I feel like people know I don't deal with that well. So I don't know if you've addressed this before, but what program are you taking in university? I'm gonna guess that means like what is my major? Um, my major is psychology. My minor is entrepreneurship. And um, I am taking my prerequisites to um, for optometry school. So yeah, it's I have a I have a heavy load, but I'm taking it with a grain of sugar or a grain of salt, however the term goes. But by God's grace, I will succeed. I will get into optometry school. Um, and yeah, do you think you will ever quit YouTube? Mm. I think in the very, very, very far future, I will quit YouTube. I plan on still doing YouTube whenever I go to optometry school. Like, maybe, like, you know, giving y'all updates, doing vlogs, um, giving y'all advice videos still. Um, so, I don't plan on giving up my channel anytime soon. But in the very far future, like, maybe when I start my career. But maybe not even then. I just, I think in the very, very far future. I'm not sure when, but I do think that I'll quit YouTube in the very, very far future. How many kids do you want to have? I want six kids. I want three, I want four kids of my own. And I want to adopt two kids from Nigeria. Because I feel like that's the most, like, direct way that I can help out my country by giving um, two kids a life that they wouldn't have gotten if they were you know poverty stricken in Nigeria because it's one thing to be you know poverty stricken here but it's another thing to be like you know living in poverty in Nigeria so I, I would want to adopt two kids from Nigeria so yeah and if y'all watch the movie Lion oh, I bawled my eyes out yo oh yeah I, lo I love that movie so much. What is your dream car? I have always wanted um, a Jeep Liberty. Like, for the longest, I've always wanted a Jeep Liberty. And I still want a Jeep Liberty. <sighs> Maybe, like, in the far future, I'll get a Jeep Liberty. But not anytime soon, because I don't have money like that. But, you know, I know it's not, like, it's a, it's a really basic car. But I I've always wanted it, like, I've always wanted a Jeep Liberty, so... What are you studying at college and when do you graduate? I think I already answered the first part, but I graduate in May of 2018. Woo! So y'all are all invited to my graduation. UT Dallas, go ahead, comments, whoosh. 
what is your zodiac sign my zodiac sign is an Aries yes I am an Aries um I think that's a fire sign I'm not very sure y'all correct me if I'm wrong what made you want to become an eye doctor um, simple my mother my mother is like my hero and my inspiration and she is the reason that I want to be an eye doctor so yeah I want to take over the practice <laughs> what was your most exciting moment slash experience from your college fresh or from your freshman year in college okay uh, okay this is gonna be a mini story time so most of y'all know that my parents are kind of strict so I didn't really go out in high school I like stayed in my house and I studied for the most part so um my very first kickback that I ever ever went to in college at TWU in Denton um I was with some friends and my friends were like oh let's go to this party at uh, 33 degrees north I was like lit you know we about to turn up so I've never been to a party before we walk in and everything's like live, like everyone's like <laughs> You know, we got girls twerking in the corner and we got guys, you know, just like, you know, turning up and as we walk in, there's this girl standing on a counter. So I was like, okay, they turning up and you know, she twerking, she like doing whatever she do. So we in the corner, everyone, everyone's chilling and that's back when, dang, this is in 2014, y'all, so like, all the music was way outdated now, but um, so Migos was like, what was the popular song about Migos back then? Oh, handsome and wealthy. Is it good and wealthy? Is it good and good like a good? I don't know how you figure Back to the story. So everyone's chilling or whatever, and next thing we know, you know, um. Someone was like, oh, like people, more people were flooding in, more people were flooding in, coming in, coming in, coming in. And everyone, it was getting like a little overwhelming. Like it was, it was hard to get some space in the party. So we had to like step outside to get some air. And if anyone knows Den Kickbacks, Den Kickbacks are not like your average kickback, like everybody just chilling. Den Kickbacks are parties, or, or at least they were back then, like way back in the day, 2014, my freshman year. They were parties. Like I've had some of the lot. Mm, if I can tell y'all all the kickbacks that I've been to, I would have a story times for days, but I don't do story times so. <laughs> but anyway, back to the, back to this story time. So, um, you know, the girl on the, the, the um on the top of the counter, she's getting it, right? Getting it. Whoa, 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 music playing. <laughs> Everyone's vibing, like everything is cool, right? Next thing you know, you're boom, doo, doo, bop. And then we look to the side. The girl on the counter is like on the floor. And tell me why that whole part of where she was standing on the counter is literally on the ground, yo. And remember, this is an apartment. This is an apartment. So everyone's just like. So I'm just chilling like, whoa, do we need to leave? I was I was expecting for the owner to come out and be like, you know what, everybody get out. Everybody get out, get out. Y'all ain't got to go home, but you got to get the heck out of here. I was expecting something like along, like along those lines, right? So the owner comes out, right? And he looks, and he was a big guy. So I was ready for like this girl to get body rocked. I was like very, very, very scared for her. I was like, Whew. I was really about to be like... shaking in their boots for this girl right now so he comes he picks up the block right I thought he was about to you know jab it at somebody you know something like that like go Hulk mania on everybody but he picks it up and then he finally says like he he picks it up and then he throws it over his head like you know I'm talking like he lifts it over his head and then he's like turn the fuck up and yo I have a whole picture of it still and I'll probably insert it like right here or something but anyway so everyone was like hey so we just started going back to everyone's doing so that's probably one of my craziest uh most memorable experiences from freshman year would you ever date Malik we're dating right now didn't you know 
I know a bunch of y'all just guessed like, oh, I knew it, I knew it. No, I'm not dating Malik. I would never date Malik. I would never date any of the guys that have been in any of my videos. They're all my friends. Um, so yeah, that answers any of the questions that y'all have ever asked in the comment section down below. I know y'all be peeping, saying, ooh, y'all think something's going on with Cindy and Chinadu. Y'all think something's going on with Cindy and Alvin. Y'all think something's going on with Cindy and Mike. Y'all think going on, something's going on with Cindy and Malik. Nothing is going on with me and any of those boys. Nothing. So, um, yeah, that's that. Like, I'm not, no, no, no. <laughs> No! That is it for this Snapchat Q&A. Make sure to go ahead and like this video if you like to comment down below if you have any more questions that I can try to answer for y'all. And go ahead and subscribe if you love my channel and you love me and you want to see more. Um, so yeah, I would love to see you guys in the next video. Right now I gotta go ready, uh, go ahead and get ready to go bowling. Yay! So, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to stay blessed and beautiful and I love you guys so much. Stay blessed and beautiful, gems. Bye. Hit me up if you wanna be.